Hmm. Hmm. Let's just see how this is going. Type it myself. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Well. Uh oh. I think I should get make start making some videos. Hello everyone. Gage here back for another video. And I probably spent too long on an absence. And uh that's not that great. So we need I want to I want to get back into it, you know, start making them videos. So let's jump back into some good Annie memes. I no, I I'm a head out. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, look at my this Oh, well, there's a whole thing. Okay. Necrophilia is with a dead corpse, but it's not the same because you're alive. You're an alive corpse. Zombie coon. It's not necrophilia if we have s my humanity and soul. Okay, so that is so false because just because they're moving around, to, you know, you know what? This is just bad. I don't, I don't think I need to justify what's wrong here or explain what's wrong here. I'm just going to say it's wrong and move on. That's the most accurate thing you can do about the situation. My friend and I have been arguing. Okay. Who's worse? Uh, I, okay. If you've seen these shows, you will instantly know that they're both garbage. Why are you arguing who's worse? When you can just say they're both fucking horrible and move on. Because that's what I would do. And it's the most reasonable thing to do. So hopefully we all agree on doing it. So let's just move on from it. After this post. Okay. That's... Those are thousand dollar bills. Okay. Ah. Yes. I mean, really, uh, if that ever does come to be, like, the surgery should cost a lot of money, because realistically speaking, either one, you're messing with their d DNA with some weird, like, Star Trek transporter, which, I mean, that's going to be billions upon billions of dollars before something like that's made, but alternatively, you to make the tail and ears permanently work the way you do you'd have to get to a more advanced level of nerve surgery and brain understanding which in the medical field we're still kind of barely touching the surface of so we would need time and a lot of really intelligent minds putting it together before we could implant something like this but i mean we are getting closer and closer to um that type of thing the more we start creating artificial limbs that are connected to nerves that actually work the same as normal limbs uh, that's the first step to eventually creating entirely new and different body parts for instance we do tails though realistically we had tails at one point that's why we have a tail bone so i wonder if there are still nerves that we could connect there i uh, don't know 100 percent i i don't think i knew know them because i've done quite a bit of biology i and on the nervous system i don't remember but at the same time they could be there I know for a fact that most of the nerves go down through that area, through the spine, very close to the um, uh, pelvic regions, is where the last of it goes. So it's possible that there's still nerves that could be connected and tails could be reattached. It might be more feasible than anything else, like adding a third arm. But that being said, uh, the ears, I don't see that ever really happening easily because it, to attach a nerve that close to the brain you're seriously asking for trouble but that's just me we it, it, i could be wrong i mean maybe we attach it to stuff like well, our facial structures while we move and they make expressions of different eyebrow movements and such so maybe they we could theoretically make it so we could move ears it's just gonna take some time that's what i'll say it's gonna take time money and uh 
Well, man, I went on a tangent on this one. Especially when it was just being silly, saying oh, you're getting a lot of money. Which is probably accurate, because when it actually is developed and we can do it, there's going to be a lot of money involved. But I just thought in my head, I'm like, there's going to be them, there's going to be the purists and the non-purists. And oh, God, never mind. Let's not get into that can of worms. But I will upvote the meme anyways. I'll take looking at a party girl over Natsu screaming about friendship any time. You can't have fan service in anime. It's objectifying friendship. It's most important. Oh, it's objectifying. Friendship is most important. I clearly didn't keep that uh, end of sentence. I should have. Oh, no. And I did, on top of which, I didn't... Act, okay. There's a lot of... I missed a lot of exclamation, exclamation marks because... Clearly, that's what Natsu would be screaming, but I'm not going to do that myself. Dude, women are awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to upvote that. That's... It's just, shut up. They're all awesome. That's it. Should have paid her a living wage. Tangirl sleeps with landlord to pay rent. I'm going to break your Nico Nico kneecaps. Oh, God. I can't believe I said that. I'm going to say the n <laughs> Nico Nico N. Uh. See, the moment I saw that, I was like, I know what they're doing with this N-word, and it's not the one you'd think. But to a lot of anime fans, it's annoying as hell. It is, shouldn't be, you one, you shouldn't connect them, I would say. You shouldn't say the N-word like that, because it's going to have a different connotation. But at the same time, it is also an annoying set of words because nico once isn't a big a deal nico nico knee is annoying so it's technically and words you would be more accurately said but um yeah <laughs> terrible only the good ones get hair ribbons what anime girls with hair ribbons are always so wholesome there's a problem with this specifically because one of them Comes from a show I would never consider wholesome. Also, a set of games that I wouldn't consider wholesome. Um, that being said, I will first state that the... I don't remember all their names, but the one, the girl from Food Basket, she is wholesome. That fits. I'm going to point out that this girl from Kaguya, I think it's Kaguya Summer's Love is War, is not actually um, wholesome in my opinion. She is really mm, interesting. Like, she has some wholesome moments, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't describe her as wholesome because of the <laughs> immense, <laughs> like, just game, competitive gambling. Everything she does is... It definitely brings a smile to my face, but I wouldn't, I don't actually think that the definition of a wholesome fits. And then, of course, you have the princess. I mean, maybe? She is about to be railgunned. Oh, that's just a terrible, terrible scent. Okay. I know, um, I lost my virginity. So can I have yours? <laughs> There is, this is the law of equivalent exchange. <laughs> oh my god. There is so much wrong with this sentence. This whole concept is hilarious, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just uploading it. That's all I'm going to do. Move on. <laughs> that was great. Okay. It's a curse. What's your type? I don't have. Okay, I was gonna say there were there don't there doesn't look to be like a solid type here, but there isn't. So that actually makes sense. Not exactly a good meme. Okay, I'm honestly curious if it's just me or not. Okay, me when playing RPG hentai games for some reason. Okay, my chastity will be protected. <laughs> Are you, are you saying that when you're playing these hinty games, you are focused on not getting proverbially dealt the hand you came for? Oh, sorry about the phone, by the way. 
Uh, because I don't, I don't know how you'd why you'd play that game, and then proceed not to go all the way, if you know what I mean. It's what's the point? Let me know in the comments down below, please. Uh, if you guys even think that there's a point either. Because I don't. There are those that are just built different. Okay. People who watch anime subbed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People who watch anime dubbed. <laughs> people who watch anime dubbed. Wait a minute. Did it just do two people who watch anime dubbed? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's clearly true. <laughs> I just like it. That's fine. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my content. If you do, please like, please subscribe, please share, please leave a comment, do all this stuff, help me get it through the algorithm to a certain extent and um, help promote the growth of the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoy making these videos. Though I did take a quite a bit of a hiatus since I had just graduated and had to get my stuff in order for the future of my uh, respiratory therapy um, profession. Uh, but that being said, I'm glad everyone who stuck with me and came back to watch this episode. And uh, I hope you guys help spread the word and enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.